Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It is morning for me. It's a gorgeous spring morning, a balmy 38 degrees Fahrenheit here in Missouri. We got some nice little steam rising from all the little ponds and streams nearby. It's kind of cool. Unfortunately, I think I missed most of that. And I just missed a great blue heron. I'm telling you, one of these days I'm just going to come up here with my 70 to 300 and walk around. Especially early in the morning. Lots of wildlife activity. I just didn't think that this spot would be that cool. Seeing as they allow hunting back here during certain seasons, I didn't think the wildlife would be as abundant but it is just a gorgeous morning. I've got a subject in mind, and in a little bit we'll be there. It's a little bit of a walk or hike. Okay, so this is gonna be slightly different video quality for me. My Osmo Pocket just dropped again. I think that's the fourth or fifth time that's happened to me. And normally it comes back the gimbal just functions and it's fine this time i turned it on and the gimbal isn't even going through its self-test i think ozzy may be done so we're going to try it this way for just this episode hopefully and hopefully i can get something else back in the game plan i'd use my gopro but um Unfortunately, I forgot the tripod foot and the thumb screw. Yeah, it's a stellar day. On top of that, I left one of my batteries for my Nikon D600 at home in the charger. Note to self, one thinking I'm gonna go out in the morning to shoot. Pack everything up the night before. I know this rule. I even thought last night, well, I'm getting up with enough time to get everything together, eat something, and head out to the location and get the photograph that I want. <sighs> Why do we all learn these lessons the hard way? Not once, but multiple times. Okay, enough of a downer. I did make my photograph this morning. I got to my composition with just the right side light on it and that light is quickly fading so luckily i made it here got my composition i've got my 14 to 24 mil on i believe i'm all the way out at 14 mil i'll show you the specs in just a second but let me walk you through that composition so we're going to try this seeing as i got to use the camera anyway uh, i'm using an app that allows me to use both my selfie camera and my front facing camera at the same time so the cool thing is is i can show you the back of the camera point here and you can see my pretty mug at the same time isn't that amazing technology it's a great thing so um walking through the composition it is this cool log that is just decaying away some of the bark layer is still there but you can tell that uh, animals have been eating off of it and that uh, nature itself in general has just been working on the decay so i've got multiple focus points throughout this image here i had some gorgeous side light now it's not as gorgeous it looks a little bit overexposed in the video on the d600 but uh, i like the image i still like it um, i like using the 14 to 24 on it because it allows me to use some um, perspective distortion. Because of the bulbousness of that lens, I'm actually able to distort the subject a little bit by tilting down closer to the foreground of the subject. So, so these first four images are the individual images that make up the focus stack that you're gonna see in just a little bit. You'll notice a little focus shift here from the last image, and the next image has a really big focus shift. Yeah, there it is. So I took these four images into Photoshop, auto-aligned the layers, and then did an auto-blend. 
And then I took it back into Lightroom and did a little post-processing, you know, upped the contrast a little bit, lowered the sh highlights, up the shadows a little bit, left some soul in those shadows, because if you don't have a little bit of soul in the shadow, the photo's gonna fall apart and become really flat. I called this one Life From Death, because there's a little tiny tree starting to grow out of this dead trunk. Right there in the middle, you can see it. And here's the final focus stacked image. Leave a comment down below telling me what you think. So, yeah, I'm disappointed in myself for dropping Ozzy again, and also for the shortcomings of this morning. But I do believe that I made a good photograph this morning. And I did get out of the house. Got to walk in. I might look around, see if there's anything else in this light. Because this location we've been to a few times in the afternoon and evening. And the light is totally different in the morning. Because of the, the bluffs off in the distance. Uh, to the east. So it shelters it a little bit longer than most places. So it's kind of cool in that aspect. And it's actually starting to warm up. So I'm going to walk around a little bit more, see if I can find something else. If I do, I'll show it to you. If I don't, thanks again for watching. If you haven't yet done so, hit that uh, subscribe button and ding the bell for future notifications of when I release a video. And if you like this video, <laughs> even with its shortcomings, give me a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.